So in this video we're going to look at harmonizing the major scale with seventh chords. If you just want to learn the piece from the start of the video, then go to this time. If you want to know what seventh chords are, then stick around. I'm going to go into the details of how they fit with the major scale. So what is a seventh chord or arpeggio? It's made up of four notes. If you start with a major scale, I'm just going to take the major scale of G as an example, as usual. You take the first, the third, the fifth and the seventh. Play them together and you have a major seventh chord. If you load a seventh by one note, then you get a dominant seventh chord. If you also lower the third by one note, you'll get a minor seventh chord. If you also lower the fifth by one note, you'll get a minor seven flat five, also known as half diminished. These four chords naturally occur in the major scale. If you use the same pattern of taking a note and then skipping a note, you'll get the seventh chords in this order, major seven, minor seven, minor 7, major 7, dominant 7, minor 7 and minor 7 flat 5. So on the 1st and 4th you get a major 7, the 2nd, 3rd and 6th you get a minor 7, on the 5 you'll get a dominant 7 and on the 7 you will get a minor 7 flat 5. For more information on harmonizing the major scale check out my previous video that goes into much more detail. Okay, now let's move on to how to play them on the bass. So we're going to use the key of G major. From each of these notes, we're going to build a chord. So the first one is going to be G major 7. So we're playing G, B, D, F sharp, and G. Next chord is the A minor 7. And we're going to play A, C, E, G. Next chord is the B minor 7. We're going to play B, D, F sharp and A. Next chord is the C major 7. Same pattern as the first. Then we've got the D dominant 7. That's made up of the D, the F sharp, the A and finally the C. So you can use fingers 2, 1, 4, and then you can either use a little second finger or first finger there on the, on the 10th fret. And then the octave, little finger. Then we've got the E, minor 7, same pattern as the first two. And then we have the F sharp minor, flat 5. Same pattern as the other minors, but you're just flattening that fifth. So you're playing F sharp, A, C, D. E. And then finally finish off with the G major 7. So the first exercise would just be to play those seven in a row. Okay, so the thing I played at the start was basically the same thing, but once I get to the top of the first arpeggio, I move to the second and come back down. And from the third, up, down the fourth one, up the fifth one, down the sixth one, up the seventh one, and then the last thing is just down the major scale, hit the tenth chord, so it's the fourteenth fret, and then so all together it sounds like this. If you enjoyed that lesson, please consider subscribing to the channel. Thanks very much.